Pull me first. Okay, uh, first of all, you guys have Orlando tonight. You've been pretty good at home. I guess what's it going to take for you guys to, I don't know, find that more consistent? Um, I think, you know, just having that same mindset we had last game, you know, make sure that you know, we set that standard for every game. We just wanted to, you know, play aggressive, play as a team, and, you know, execute. You know, I think that's the huge thing, you know, where we get up, you know, to the team, but to, you know, put them away. And I know uh, JC and DeJounte are listening to this question, but how big would it be to be able to get them back healthy? And what have you seen from them during shooting out? Uh, man, uh, just, you know, to be able to have them back, you know, I'll be, you know, great for the team, you know, to be able to, to have them back out there and you know, have the whole team uh, healthy. You know, I think that's the main thing of just staying consistent with everything. When you have all your guys and be able to, you know, grow together, you know, have the, each, you know, player on the team healthy. And I guess about 30 games of the season, you guys are at high level. Are you kind of feeling more comfortable so far just 30 games into Um, I think just, you know, learning how to, uh, you know, just compete again, you know, be able to just, you know, come into every game. You know, wanting to compete and get better. I think, you know, this is a great, you know, year for me just to be able to get that experience of, you know, learning from every game and uh, just, you know, playing basketball. So, yeah. The biggest adjustment though for you, what would you say? Um, I'd probably say just the amount of games. I think, you know, uh, I think, you know, just not even halfway through the season, but, uh, you know, that's almost like a full college season already. So. You know, be able to just adjust, you know, to that. I think that's the biggest adjustment to me. And how's it been working with Jamel? How's he helped you adjust to being in the league? Man, it's been great. You know, not only just he just helped me, like, you know, just become a better a basketball player, which is a better person. You know, just be able to, you know, have conversations like we actually just talked, like, you know, just right before this. You know, just really just be able to chill and like, you know, that's my guy, and just be able to, you know, have him on the staff and you know, have him as you know my coach, like. You know, to develop me is, you know, it's a blessing. How does he push you? Because I was watching him, like, working <laughs> with you. It was, like, kind of just, like, live, like, yeah. telling you some things. Like, how is he pushing mm-hmm. you in these practices? Um, I would say really just the little stuff, you know, that I, I think, you know, that would help me tremendously. You know, I think it's more of just seeing the game and, you know, the little things he sees, he always tells me. And, you, you know, we always acknowledge, you know, that whether it's from last game or, you know, from whatever it is, like, well, start working on it and, you know, really encrypt, like, just, you know, what I need to do on a, you know, day-to-day, you know, basis. You mentioned the games. Is there a specific way where the, the volume of the games really hits you? Is it, like, physical? Is it, like, mental? Is it travel? Is there something that, one part of it that's, like, wow, that's, that's a lot? Uh, I'd say all of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, just, it's always a, a, a challenge to just, to be able to prepare, like, mentally, physically, just everything, like, you know, I think uh, as the season goes on, you get to learn your, your body, you get to learn, you know, the tempo, the volume of the game. And I think, you know, when you finally, like, I guess just adjust to it, it's, you know, it's just playing basketball. You're just out there, you know, hooping. So. It's not every season you get that uh, you get a week of home games leading up to Christmas. Mm-hmm. Do you have any special plans for this week? Uh, yeah, uh, my family uh, came, came, so, like, you know, just spend time with them and, you know, we got games, so just playing on winning, so, yeah. Are the guys doing anything like gifts for each other? Is there a white uh, elephant going on? What's going on for that? Yeah, we got, like, secret Santa, so, <laughs> so that'll be fun, you know. I got, uh, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> 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 yeah, secret Santa, secret Santa. Is there, like, a, is there, like, a limit for the secret Santa, though? Is there uh, rules for it or anything like that? Uh, it has to just be over 250 like, dollars, so, okay. you know, uh, I got a good gift, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm excited, though. Yeah. Anything you're hoping to get, maybe, from uh, Super Santa? We can put it out there now so he knows. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with anything, really. <laughs> okay. yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah.